Today we are going to talk about Lee Livingstone's book Ethical Decision Making with the question How does ethics influence decision making? Let's first answer these questions. To help people and be their guide in decision making. We make decisions, but have we ever thought if it's ethical or not? Because of this book we'll know if it is or it isn't. Now let's see the things we need to in doing ethical decisions. Approach, Moral Beliefs and Ethics What's the difference between descriptive and prescriptive? Descriptive is about observation, it is neutral, while prescriptive has a standard that shall be obeyed. Ethical relativism needs to be maintained in order for moral beliefs to be retained. Ethics must be considered as a duty and responsibility. Let us apply it now into our lives. Emotion or comprehension and sympathy can be possible through ethical decisions we can connect to each other. In everyday life as well it is something to be remembered. Let's see some examples. In the internet. In our environment. In online learning. Why is it essential to read? Let us all see the factors. It is both timely and relevant, you can read it anytime and anywhere. It is absolutely realistic. Lastly, it enables its readers to grow beyond depth. Decisions versus Ethical Decisions Read the following questions. Both are selecting an option you think is best for you. Ethical decision has moral beliefs and practices within while a decision has nothing like that. How can we convert our decisions to ethical decisions? Learn, remember and seek what ethics truly is. Now, let's provide examples. Read the problem thoroughly and carefully. Place your feet in the shoes of the character. What is the best decision in your mind? Is it your B?
Correct the second option should be your decision because it is the ethical decision. But is it okay to always decide ethically? We must always try our best to decide in line with our moral and ethical beliefs. That is why in the book the emphasis is on the matter of ethics. It reminds us of the practices we forget from time to time. So as we read the book let us never fail to remember that ethics live upon us. Our actions courses and the decisions we make describes and defines the moral beliefs we have in our lives. How does ethics influence decision making? Now this is the prime question in this book too, and we ought to answer this with confidence. So let us find out and seek what the answer for this is. For our recap, let's have a brief summary of what we have tackled. This is our main idea. How we are able to apply it. Now remind yourselves why is it essential? Timely, relevant, existential, and it helps us grow. It is now time to answer the main question. Ethics influences our thoughts, words, and principles. Basically it is our conscience and consciousness. It always affects how we decide, think and see things in our minds and eyes. That is why it is always essentially important and necessary. We can prepare ourselves from unforeseen events through deciding ethically. Like something written in in the book to be a good person we must decide on behalf of our minds not emotions. We are able to navigate rationally because of ethics. It holds us responsible and accountable for the actions and courses we've done. Ethics shapes and molds our mind so that we can be the best version of ourselves. Here are a few things to remember. Read and memorize each very carefully. Now take note of these things. Indeed, this book made us learn. The author successfully delivered his message through great use of platform. Ethical decisions are not made within emotions but in minds. That is why these ethics must be kept on our minds as it is something we need in order to decide ethically. This is the end of Ethical Decision Making by Les Livingstone. We hope you have learned lots of things. Thank you for watching.